are you kind of fully recovered for that? I believe it was a hamstring. Yeah. And are you competing in everything this weekend? I will be competing in everything. I feel great. Uh, my training staff, I worked in Exos, Dallas, Texas. So shout out to them. We've we have a great program going together to get this, this thing healthy and not feel really good. You're so instinctive for some fumbles, stripping the football. Is there a coach or player you credit that ability to? Um, no coach or, or player. Um, I'd say where I was raised. I was raised in a, raised in a small town on Oahu called Laia. Um, you know, just the way that we we breed people, out, uh, competitive players out there was kind of the way, you know, instinctively how I grew up, you know, from, from playing as a little kid. Now, the things that you see me doing at college, game days, stripping balls, that's stuff I've been doing since Pop Warner. Um, you know, so that's something that, you know, I, I'm really prideful in and, you know, I think that's part of my game that um, is special. What's your expectations entering South Bend and now leaving the program? Did you meet the goals you had set for yourself? At Notre Dame? Yeah. You know, I feel like I, you know, there's obviously some goals that I wanted to accomplish this past year. Um, you know, but overall, you know, I put everything into everything on the table. You know, I, I worked my butt off. I did my best to, to impact the program as much as I can. And for that, um, and just seeing the people that I've worked with and the impact that I've had on them and on the, on the culture of the program and the secondary from coming in to leaving, um, it's, it's, an, it's very special to me. Talk about some of the good performances from Chase this year, uh, you know, Miles last year. Yeah. You know, obviously, Troy Fry's coming up here. Talk about yeah. what you expect to see <laughs> You know, I talk to Troy a lot, um, obviously, secondary guy. Um, you know, seeing the other guys doing really well, and a lot of people are getting hyped and anxious about it. Um, but, you know, I really try to just let him get in his own zone. You know, Troy's a guy who's focused and who's locked in. So, you know, I don't, I know what type of person he is, and I try not to get into his, in his own, and I don't want to egg him on or whatnot. I want him to just go out there and do his thing. Um, so I know he's going to run really good. I know he's going to kill the combine. So I'm not really worried about him, but I'm just excited to watch it. Obviously, people are talking about his 40 a little bit, but at the yeah. Senior Bowl when you were healthy enough to run, they were releasing like those mile per hour stats, and yeah. you were, I think, in the top five for your team. Yeah. Uh, so what did you think you can run better than maybe people are thinking? Uh, of course. Yeah. I mean, like I talked about earlier, it's the story of my life. People think I can't run, I can't cover can't do this, you know. It's just another step for me to, to try and prove myself, and I'm fully confident in that. I always knew I could run. I always knew I could, could do the things that a lot of people didn't think I can. So, you know, just coming out here, I'm here to prove and make a statement. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just blessed to be out here and get that opportunity. Does it get frustrating even though those stats as a, you know, official, they can show you ran this faster in yeah. the workouts and stuff and people still kind of doubt uh -huh. you after that? Is that I mean, frustrating? You know, like I said, I'm used to it at this yeah. point. You know, it's... It's really something that every level that I've been to um, has been the same, same scenario, same, um, same thing. So just, just coming to this situation and seeing the same things, you know, it, it just, it just adds more of a chip on my shoulder, um, which is, which is a great thing for me, a uh, bad thing for other people. So it'll be a good experience. Is there a particular event you're looking forward to doing the most this weekend? All of it, really. I mean, I don't have a specific event. You know, obviously getting healthy and being able to just run in general is, is something I'm grateful for. But I'm just able, um, you know, grateful to be out there and, you know, run, run, at the, four, run the 40, jump, uh, show my position work, uh, and do my thing. What's it like going through this with Jalen? Oh, it was great. I mean, you know, we're, we're uh, roommates at the Senior Bowl, roommates now. Uh, so, you know, Jalen's my guy. We've been through it since, since three, four years ago. So, you know, he's a guy who helped me get to Notre Dame. And, you know, it's a kind of, kind of, you know, we've grown a great relationship over the years. And the chemistry that we have together is amazing. So I always want the best for him um, and can't wait to see him do his thing. You don't get tired of each other? No, nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all. When you got hurt at the, the Senior Bowl, were you worried that might impact you here? I know that's kind of affected yeah. Chris being quality here. He can't do it uh -huh. because of it. Yeah, I mean, it, you obviously think about it because, you know, you want things to, to work out the way you want it to. But, you know, some things happen and you got to roll with it. You got to go with it with a great mindset and being able to attack all the adversities that you have ahead of you. And I feel like I did that. And, you know, I was very positive about the things that I was doing. Um, had a great regimen in front of me. Attacked it, and you know, God willing, God help me get this this opportunity to be healthy.